Joe Ramsey. I'm the Director of Customer Success at Influence with a quick tip on how you can use surveys as a leading indicator of customer satisfaction. In retention marketing, we use a lot of surveys. We use customer satisfaction surveys, we use net promoter score surveys to measure the overall health and happiness of our base. The only downside to CSAT and NPS surveys is that often they are lagging indicators of customer happiness. We send them six or 12 months into a relationship. We send them once or twice a year. There is a way though to use surveys as a leading indicator of customer happiness, a predictor of how happy they will be with your software or service. Um, at Influence, we do recommend structured onboarding processes. And usually within that onboarding process, there's a toll gate or a checkpoint that indicates whether a customer is fully engaged with your, your software or your service. Um, for example, if you sell software as a service, you probably have a step in the onboarding process that's designed to get customers up to speed on your service, on your software. Um, that could be a website check-in or a website login. It could be an online video. It could be a online certification. It could even be a down, like a PDF download. But somewhere in that process, there is, should be a behavior that indicates whether or not a customer is engaged. Um, and that is where you want to send a survey. So to use a survey as, an, as a leading indicator of customer satisfaction, you want to give customers enough time to have completed the step that you want them to take. For example, hey, within 10 or 14 days, you probably should have watched the online trading video. And then you can send a survey that says, did you have a chance to watch the online video? On a scale of one to five, how confident are you that you can successfully use the software? On a scale of one to five, how confident are you that you can take a specific step in the next 14 days? What did you like about the video? What could have been better? The results, the responses from your surveys will tell you a couple things. One, it'll tell you who's moving along uh, the customer journey the way you expect them to. And more important, it will indicate the customers who are not as far along as you would like for them to be and who may be at risk of not engaging successfully. Those are the customers that you want to make an extra outreach to, to give them a little, a little encouragement, a little extra help, a little extra education so that they're confident using your service and they're confident engaging with your platform. You should have happier, longer term customers who feel more successful with your service. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in person as soon as we can. All the best.